Coming on the field with your pretty pom pom. Now you're working at the movie selling popular corn. I so I've been going to school here for quite some time now and I just wanted to make a comparison between Fairmont and North Penn because there are so many differences and I want to share them with you guys. So number one, school here starts at different times and ends at different times depending on your timetable. So for example, on Mondays I start at 8 and end at 5, but on Tuesdays I start at 8 and end at 1. And so that's a huge difference because at North Penn school starts and ends at the same time for everybody. Number two, classes here last for different amount of times. For example, I have French for two hours, but I could have English for one, or I have biology for an hour and a half, whereas at North Penn, you guys have periods, and they all last for about the same amount of time. Number three, here you have class with the same people in every single class. So in math, you're with the same people as the people you're with in science, whereas at North Penn, for each and every class, you have different people. So here you only really get to know the people in your class, whereas at North Penn you pretty much meet almost everybody. Number four, this is a big difference to me. So here teachers are just your teachers. You, like They're just there to teach you and that's it. And yell at you too, I guess. But at North Penn, teachers are your friends, coaches, uh, club advisors. Like They do so much more and they're there for you for so much more than just to teach you. You can talk about your weekend with them or what you did over the summer or what you're going to do over the summer. Whereas here, you just come in, you listen to the teacher, and that's it. Which leads me to the next one. Number five, school is just school. You come in and you learn and listen to the teacher talk for the entire period. Whereas at North Penn, school is a place for sports, music, theater, art. You can do so many things at North Penn. It's like your community. It's not just your school. Whereas here, it's just school. Number six, school here is very serious. People take it seriously. They care about their grades. I mean, people in America do too, but not everybody. And for example, when you come into class, you stand at your seat and you wait for the teacher to tell you to sit down. So I think here it's more disciplinary and everything, whereas at North Penn it's really laid back and not too serious. Number seven, textbooks here are much smaller and thinner than the ones we have in America. For example, here's our literature textbook here in France. Yeah, the one at North Penn is like 3,000 pages. So yeah, French people, next time you want to complain about your textbook being big and heavy, don't. Number nine, if your teacher's not here, you don't have class. Whereas at North Penn, if your teacher's not there, we have a substitute. So for the first two or three weeks of school, my French teacher was not there, so we never had French class. Number 10, this is a huge difference. So lunch here, we actually eat on plates with actual silverware and like a pitcher of water and actual glasses. Whereas at North Penn, we have trays, plastic utensils, little cartons of milk and juice. Yeah. Number 11. Here we're allowed to leave school to eat at home or at a cafe if we don't want to eat at the school, whereas at North Penn you cannot leave the building. Yeah. <laughs> Which leads me to the next thing. Sometimes the food in the cafeteria here is a little disgusting, but that's what I mean when I say we can leave to go eat somewhere else or eat at home, eat at a cafe, buy something else. And that's a difference from North Penn, but that's not a bad thing because North Penn actually has pretty good food in my opinion. I mean, we have amazing cookies. We have pizza, hamburgers, chicken sandwiches, sushi. We have a huge variety. And every time I tell my friends about it, they're like freaking out because it's like they don't have that variety that we get. So be grateful for that, North Penners. And last but not least, I think this is every American teacher's dream. But here, the bell does not dismiss you. The bell rings and nobody does anything until the teacher actually says that they're done. Whereas at North Penn, the bell rings and we have teachers saying, the bell does not dismiss you, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, so those are the main differences between Fairmont and North Penn. And hey, if anybody at Fairmont wants to come to North Penn next year, just let me know and I can probably get you that spot. So yeah, and if anybody at North Penn is wanting to come to France next year, you can ask me any type of questions. I'd be happy to give you advice. Just let me know. It's really great both at North Penn and here. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.